what's up guys it's your boy king beam and i am back with another video i just want to thank you guys for all the support on the first video before this one starts i'm gonna need to ask you guys to like subscribe drop a comment down below and turn on post notifications so you never miss the video let's get into the video Before this video starts, I would like to issue out a spoiler warning for The Rise of Sheev. If you have not seen the movie, don't watch this video because there are major, major spoilers. Thank you. So, you guys read the title? Today I'm going to be doing my Rise of Sheev movie review. And yes, I said Rise of Sheev because... The title's false. No one who has Skywalker lineage rose in this movie. The two people with Skywalker lineage, Kylo and Leia, died. Spoiler alert. So, yeah. Anyway, um... This movie was a very... It was an interesting one, to say the least. I loved it, personally. But, you know, I'm, I'm kind of alone on this whole liking the movie thing because uh, a lot of people hate it for obvious reasons and first let me tell you my um my portrayal of this whole sequel tri trilogy i see it as a filler arc see in anime we have these things called filler arcs where you know they're they're a cool story it's you know pretty nice but it doesn't matter once we get back to the actual story, the filler, it's its non-existent. That's how I feel about this movie. And this whole trilogy. I mean, it's cool stuff. There are some pretty neat stories. But it doesn't really matter in the overall, you know. The overall, ah, what's the word I'm looking for? Canon, yes. Canon. It doesn't really matter. It's just filler. Especially this movie, because this is the weirdest one out of all three. And I loved it. First I'm gonna first I'm gonna go through all the things that I liked about this movie because there were, you know, a decent amount of things that I liked and a lot there were there weren't a lot of things that I like didn't like, but there are just a lot of weird elements to this movie. But like the things I did like Number one, Kylo Ren. The first 10 minutes of this movie were simply amazing. We have Kylo Ren on Mustafar just walking around, slicing people with his lightsaber and stuff. I loved that. And like Kylo's whole arc throughout the movie, because we can see throughout these, all three of these movies, he's like battling to like, he wants to go back to the light, but he doesn't want to at the same time. And like in this movie, we could really see that. And, um, that one, when he was fighting Rey, I love this scene where like um, Leia died, and then he um, he just like dropped his lightsaber, and he was like, "Oh no!" And yeah, I I love that scene. I also love Leia in this movie. I love how she um, she pulled a Luke and did a force projection, but she didn't project herself. She projected Han to Kylo to get him to turn back to the light. That was really cool. The jokes in this movie. <clears throat> everyone hates the jokes i loved the jokes like um they fly now best line in the movie they fly now they fly now and yeah um c3po c3po finally got some screen time because i mean in episodes seven and eight combined c3po probably got a good five minutes of screen time and i love how he had a bigger role in this movie same as Chewie. Chewie wasn't just, you know, some space Uber driver. He actually had, you know, a big role in this movie. He actually got to do stuff. Luke, they fixed Luke. I love this. Because, you know, in episode, episode 8 was not Luke. That was not Luke Skywalker. That was, I don't know, Larry Stevenson. That was not Luke Skywalker. Ray, Ray handed him his father's lightsaber. The one that his master Obi-Wan gave to him, and he just takes it and throws it like it means nothing to him. That's 
that was dumb. But in this movie, thank you J.J. Abrams, you fix Luke. When Rey tried to throw away that lightsaber, Luke grabbed it and was like, a, a Jedi's weapon needs to be treated with more respect. That was great. That was that was amazing. Um, our trio, um, Rey, Poe, and Finn. I like how they were, you know, they were a new version of Luke, Han, and Leia. I, I've been waiting for that. Because I thought they were going to do that in episode 8, but obviously <laughs> they did not do that. Um, but I'm glad they did it in this movie because I really, I really like that dynamic and how, you know, they didn't always get along. They fought a lot, but I, I love, I love their whole team dynamic that they had. And the thing that I loved the most about this whole movie was Sheev Palpatine. Yes, his whole story was weird, but oh my goodness, was he hilarious every single line he spoke i treated it as a joke because i don't know we've made him in, into such a meme in like the last 10 years every time he spoke i just couldn't help like stop laughing like <laughs> i loved him in this movie but then again his story really didn't make sense and here's where we get to like the bad parts of the movie starting with like the opening crawl the dead speak what and then and then they tell us that palpatine's back but they don't they don't show it on screen and that's that's dumb i mean how are they gonna tell us that he came back from the dead but not show us how that i don't i didn't understand that i mean last time we saw palpatine he fell down some big hole and it, it exploded with a death star i mean he died. I mean, he did justify his resurrection by saying that, um... The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be... That... That justified his resurrection, but I mean... They could have at least showed us how he did it, because, you know... It would have been cool. And his plan? This has got to be the dumbest plan ever. So first, he gets Kylo, and he says, Go kill Rey, so me and you can rule a new empire called the Final Order. But then he invites Rey to like this big spooky castle thing so that she can kill him in this ceremony, and that sh so that she can become Empress Palpatine, because... She's his granddaughter and stuff. We'll get to that later. But then he's like, you know, I don't care. I'm just going to zap your life force away and become powerful myself. He could have just done that from the beginning, but he didn't. Because I don't know. That was that was pretty dumb. And then this whole his whole final order. Like, I want to know where it came from. Cause I, I liked it. I liked that he had like millions of star destroyers that came out of nowhere and he has this big fleet of sith troopers you know i loved that but what i didn't love is how they got defeated so easily i mean you have you have what thousands of sith troopers on all those ships and then you get what some like 25 rebels riding on space horses <laughs> who do you think is gonna win 25 space horses or a thousand Sith troopers. Spoiler alert, the space horses win. That was so stupid. How ah oh, man. I like this movie though. There's a lot of bad things about it, but I love it. But really, space horses? I <laughs> that was that was weird. Um what else was weird about this movie? Rose! Rose Tico, the very, very controversial character from The Last Jedi, um, they just decided to, like, delete her character, but at the same time, they tried to give her lines, and that didn't work out at all. Like, every time she said something in the movie, it felt so forced, and I hated it. No, no shade to her character, but, like, they didn't have to do her dirty like that, I mean, that was pretty disrespectful, honestly. 
um, we need to address Palpatine's obsession with um, Death Stars. Like, he makes Death Star 1. He makes Death Star 2. He uses Snoke to create Starkiller Base. We're gonna get to that Snoke thing in a minute. And then he makes, you know, a thousand Star Destroyers with Death Stars connected to them. Do, do, did they have to keep creating the same weapon over and over again just so it could be destroyed over and over again? Oh, man. And then... So Snoke was created by Palpatine? I... Who knows? They could have told us how, but, you know... They're like, who cares about that? They tell us at the beginning of the movie, you know, Palpatine's like, Boy, I made Snoke. And, you know, that's it. They didn't tell us how, they didn't tell us when, where, nope. Just gave us one line and, you know, they figured we'd forget about it by the end of the movie. We didn't. Um, uh, Sith Wayfinders. Here's what I don't get. So Luke was trying to get the Sith Wayfinder so he could get the Exegol. So did he know the Emperor was there the whole time and just, you know, decided not to tell anyone because <laughs> who cares that the Emperor is alive? Like, they didn't tell us why Luke was trying to get the Exegol. All we know is that he wanted the Sith Wayfinder and he wanted to go to Exegol for some reason. Um... And then there's like, that was the weird stuff about this movie. And now we get to the unnecessary elements of the movie. Starting with Leia being a Jedi and having a lightsaber. They tried so hard to undo The Last Jedi. Because, you know, Leia has that one scene where she like basically turned into Superman and flies through space. But I mean, she had the force. The adrenaline kicked in, she was about to die, and she used the force to save herself. We didn't have to turn her into a Jedi. And then, and then, she had a lightsaber and she trained with Luke, but then she sensed her son's death at the end of her Jedi journey, so she decided not to become a Jedi? That, I don't know, that was, that was unnecessary. Rey being Palpatine's granddaughter is weird and unnecessary. Why is she Palpatine's granddaughter? Who is Palpatine's wife? Who is his son? What? Why didn't he want his son to become the next emperor? Why did he skip over to his granddaughter? Why was none of this explained in the movie? Oh, man. We're gonna move on. Janna. You know, I love I love that we're adding more African American people to the Star Wars universe. But you didn't have to add Lando Calrissian's daughter. Like Did we really need that? Did we really need Lando Calrissian's daughter in the movie? Like Disney literally just put her in the movie so they could make some weird TV show on Disney Plus called Jan and Lando, you know, like and then, and then, they don't even tell us that that's his daughter. They just hint at it. But then they release a visual dictionary, and it says on the paper, this is Lando's daughter. I mean, Disney is just... Disney's weird. Um, Raylo. I, I, I hate it. I don't like Raylo. Raylo was weird. And I, I don't need Raylo in, in my movie. I just... Why, why is there a Raylo? Did they really have to kiss at the end? I mean... And then he just dies, you know? <laughs> oh, man. She killed... First of all, why, why, why does Ray kill Kylo and then kiss him in the same movie? Like, that makes zero sense. She kills him, heals him, and then kisses him. And then she dies. And then he comes and, you know, sacrifices his life for hers, and then they kiss, and then he dies. I would have loved it if Kylo was the one who took the lightsabers. 
and like took him with him, not Ray. I think that Ben Solo should have been the one to like be the hero of the whole, you know, trilogy. But you know, can't always get what you want in life. You get, you want, you know, you want Ben Solo, strong Jedi, but no, you get dead Ben and Raylo. But you know, it's just something we're gonna have to live with. Let's see what else. Oh! <laughs> the ending to this movie. That. I I hated it. Like. My hatred for the end of this movie is like on a 10. Why is Ray false claiming to be a Jedi? I really don't understand why they had to do this. Why did they put this in the movie? I mean, the whole movie, she's running from who she is, but then, you know, she couldn't accept it, and when she fights, she finally fights her grandfather, she accepts who she is, she, you know, she fully accepts it, she defeats him, she moves on with her life, and then boom, nope, <laughs> I'm not gonna accept it anymore, I'm gonna become a Skywalker now, and I'm gonna bury their lightsabers in sand, because <laughs> that's what we do now in Star Wars. I wonder how Anakin feels about his lightsaber being buried in sand, because he kind of hates sand. Anyway, that's beside the point. Um, yeah, that was that that was ridiculous. Why is she a Skywalker? The world may never know. Mm. In conclusion, this movie was amazing. You just have to take it for what it is. If you don't think about past movies, past knowledge you'll be fine if you just watch the movie and and try to enjoy it for what it is you're gonna love it solid seven and a half out of ten well yeah that's that's the end of this video let me know down in the comments what you thought about the movie if you loved it if you hated it um yeah drop a like subscribe have a nice day i love you peace